We talked last month, I talked last month about the tube. Had dear Linda get a roll of gift wrap because it's such a great symbol. You're in the tube. You're living in the tube. The tube is very linear. As I said last month, you're living in this tube, and what do you see? Ugly cardboard, kind of grayish brown, drab, not very inspired. This tube represents the path, the path, as you can see in here, a path of your life, a path of your karma, your ancestors, the path of mass consciousness is sending you down the tube. It <laughs> <laughs> Literally sending you down the tube. You think people think they want to get out of the tube, but when actually given the opportunity, they don't. They actually just want a little bigger tube. And they want to know what lies ahead in front of them on the tube, which is kind of silly. Predictions and prophecies, very, very silly. I'll explain why in a moment. So they go through life in the tube, and then they die, and they kind of really never get out of the tube, really, mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes. And then they incarnate back again and continue traveling along in the tube. And you could just imagine one tube after the other after the other. They become numb uh, to it. They, they limit their own thoughts and imagination and ideas uh, to adapt to this tube, never realizing that it's actually this beautiful paper on the outside, never actually realizing there's so much more out here. You see, if this tube was just suspended and floating in air, there's a little bit in here. There's a lot out here, and that's what life is like. What holds this tube into place? What's keeping it a tube is time and space and belief systems, but primarily time and space. It's keeping that tube a tube. It's keeping the illusion for all of you that, that it's there. It's really kind of – I mean, it, it is there, but stop for a moment. There's so much more around it. There's room, you, e even if we open these doors so much more. That's kind of what life is like. You're held into place by time and space, some other factors as well, but those are the primary ones. So in order to expand beyond this tube, it's about releasing time and space. Not destroying it, not denying it, but releasing its tight grip. That, my friends, is challenging because it's so dense. You're so bought into it. You wear the watches. You are in physical form. You're, you're a part, uh, you're a product of time and space. <coughs> so where we're going to go with this is beyond these factors. It's going to uh, be very – it'll be an experience, best way I can put it, because it's going to affect your mind, your thoughts, your body, your ability to – your how you are centered into reality, it's going to throw all those off. But we're going to go get out of the tube. Now, again, we don't blast it. We don't blow it up because it, it, it's part of reality, but it's just a small part. So what do we do? Same thing we did with the many who are listening in today, the many, many. Ask them to expand from their chair, not leave their chair, not to project themselves here, but to expand themselves here. So we're going to expand beyond the tube, beyond these forces of time and space. Stop for a moment. What – it sounds maybe fun, it will be an experience, but what would life be without time? Good, up to the point you got out of bed in the morning, because everybody else is operating on it. And they don't like when you're late for appointments. They don't like when your essence shows up from the future. 
in, into their reality now. And that's really what happens. You suddenly become so expansive, time really doesn't matter. Suddenly uh, – and, and um, things, aren't uh, things aren't occurring in a singular motion. They're occurring simultaneously. A as I've said before, there is no time outside of the earthly realms and the angelic realms. There's no factor of time. There is the evolution of experience, a progression of experience, but it's not necessarily a linear progression. It's the evolution of experience. So what else? When you go beyond time, what, I what, is, that, what is that like? What, what are the human concerns about going beyond time? Pardon? Confusing. Very, very confusing. You have your biorhythm set to time. You have the day, the night, the light, the dark. Uh, you, you, it's in the tube. It was stuffed in the tube. Uh, and all these characteristics. So you go beyond time and it's very disorienting, extremely. And what happens when things get disoriented for the average human, written on the other page, when things are disoriented? <laughs> That's partly true. Psychotropic drugs, fear, loss of identity, loss of identity. When when you become woozy, as some of you have experienced, you suddenly you feel very dizzy. What do you try to do? Get back into the identity. Get back into time and space. Get back to the old you. Have you ever just tried getting really dizzy? Doesn't matter if you fall flat on the floor. Just letting it happen. And generally it doesn't. You don't fall on the floor. You expand a bit. What else when you go beyond time? Letting go of control. <laughs> Big one. Letting go of control. Because even though time controls you, it's in the tube here you think you're controlling time. You're not at all. But there's that, that issue. That's good. Good. So any, any others? Any other issues? What happens if you let go of time? Nothing will make sense anymore. It's the confusing thing. The, the, it's the mental loss of control. It just doesn't make sense anymore. So it takes a bold, bold human to go beyond time. It is not an uh, attribute that you have to fight. You do not have to break out of time. You expand through time. You don't have to conquer time. Those ways of the uh, old mystery schools are, are old. Uh, there's a lot of work in, in the mystery schools and a lot of the um, retreats that were done to conquer certain things. But time does not need to be conquered. Time needs to be accepted within its parameters with the understanding that there is so much more out there. Timeless reality is kind of fun. Timed reality can be fun also, can be quite an experience, but you're ready to break out of time. Space is the other one. We're in a space together here right now. Your body is in a space. There's a focus on um, kind of an energy point that creates space, that creates dimensions. What happens when we go out of space? Again, confusing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fear of uh, physical annihilation. Uh, fear that um, you're going to <laughs> <laughs> Yes, timed just right. Space. When you lose control of space, I, I tell you, the, the biggest fear that I've seen with the ones that I've worked with, it leads you vulnerable to interdimensional spooks. You, you, you're, in a, you're in a space right now. I wouldn't say it's safe, but it's safer than being without space. You know how to manage it, kind of control it and maneuver it, but suddenly you're without space. Suddenly you're in this foreign environment and there is a concern that uh, Evil is going to overcome you, dark forces, demons, bad beings, and more so than ever, your beings, your demons. See, in this space, in, in the tube here, you can kind of manage your demons. 
because they're kind of floating around out here, or so you think. So you can kind of manage them, but the moment you go beyond space, suddenly you're in that same big pool with them, that same grand dimension. So there's a lot of concerns, a lot of issues about going out of the tube, going beyond. But I think you're ready for it. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Now, we'll keep it very simple. It's about first making a choice, and if you don't want to try it, don't. You can do it later, next lifetime. Uh, <laughs> and it's about realizing actually that you are safe. You are. It's about re- taking a deep breath from this moment and expanding, just expanding out of the tube, not expanding the tube. That's what humans want. That list we did before, humans just want to make this a little prettier, a little bigger. A little less pain in the tube, but they still want the tube, you see. Chambra thinks they want to get out of the tube, but they don't know what the hell the tube is, or why it's there, or how to get out. So they kind of they kind of carry that tube around the whole time. And they dream of getting out of it, but they really don't, you see. So they're still they're Dreaming from within the tube. And, and, and that has a value, actually. It's brought us to this point. But let's try getting out of it. We're going to ask John to play some of that uh, wonderful music he was playing at the break. Yes. And because music is always nice, because the mind needs to think that it's doing something so it can listen to the music. Let's expand out of the tube out of time and space, the elements that are really holding you in. Yes, belief systems too, and all the rest of that, but the attributes of time and space keeping you in here. Let's expand outside. So take a deep breath, a little bit of music. How do you do that? You Will you just make a choice? Maybe feel yourself floating. Feeling the tube. Ah, tutti flutti music. Oh, good. So, time and space, concepts that you've agreed to, you've allowed. But now it's time, at least to test the waters, at least to feel what it's like outside of this tube. I'm going to use this roll of gift wrap on purpose, because there is such a gift in having been in the tube such a gift in experiencing time and space, such a gift in focusing yourself here. It's also a gift to be able to go beyond that when you choose, when you choose, at will, at will being in time and space. At will, being beyond. Being able to expand your consciousness, your focus. Giving yourself freedom. That's really what it is, the freedom to be in time or space, the freedom to go beyond it. The freedom to choose any energies anytime you want. safe space. 
on time. What is time? Just a measurement. Beyond space. What is space? Just a focal point. So beyond measuring, beyond focusing, I do this with you today because this divine, the soul, it is timeless, it is spaceless, it is truly free. And by doing this, expanding outside of the tube, you can start experiencing yourself as your soul. Going beyond experiencing yourself as just a human. When we do this simple, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. When we do this simple exercise, it allows you to really feel as the soul feels. You know what it's like to feel as the human feels. Beyond time and space is as the soul feels. Take a deep breath. Ah, such freedom. Such insights into your soul. You see this. Soul self. Ah, it soars like a bird. It has simplicity, elegance. It's not trapped in any tube or any cage. It knows no time. It knows no space. It knows only itself. Only its own love. You let yourself expand outside the tube. You start to understand yourself, your soul. Take a deep breath. Keep breathing deeply. Beyond the tube. What a great concept to be able to live in the tube, experience in this gift wrap tube when you want, to be able to be outside of it when you want, or both simultaneously. That's true expansion, both simultaneously. Now, very gently, when I ask you, to open your eyes very gently. It doesn't matter what you look at when you open your eyes, but bring this sense of timeless, spaceless reality. <coughs> See, it's easy, easier to close your eyes and feel it, but now can you be right here, wherever you are, with your eyes open? also beyond time and space, still experiencing human reality, still experiencing the infamous tube, and beyond time and space, all at the same time. That, that is a soul experience, soul human experience, to do both. To be able to enjoy this reality, not to have to draw the shutters or the blinds to be able to journey beyond time and space, but to be able to open your eyes. Now, if you would, please stand up. Keep breathing. Keep. Uh, don't suck yourself back into the tube here. Keep breathing and just walk around a little bit. Walk around well, without talking. Just walk around. 
You're walking in time and space, but now feel yourself also beyond time and space. See, now get used to it. Eyes open. You're walking around. You, you feel the reality of the tube. It's all around. You're no denying it. But there's also this timeless, spaceless reality. You can see colors. You're maneuvering so you don't bump into others. It's okay if you do, by the way. But you're. You're doing all the to be kind of things, but yet you're letting yourself kind of stay expanded beyond the tube. Kind of doing both at once. And this is important because so many times you can go into an altered state, but it's separate. And you may be seated anytime you want, or you can hover if, if you are that enlightened. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a simple, very simple, quick, practical exercise. And if you're saying to yourself, well, I didn't really feel anything, eh, just take a deep breath. You did. You just don't know how to uh, figure it out yet. You don't know what it is you experienced. But try this. Uh, just play, be playful with it. Try it. Continue doing it at home. Probably not best while you're driving, Calder tells me. But uh, try it at home. Uh, and it's the integrating in the tube, beyond the tube, all at the same time. Being human, being spirit, all together, not separating it anymore.